Come on, how cute are these? What is up, y'all? In today's Friday Feel episode, we are making some snacks. Okay, so one of the biggest questions I've gotten is, what's a good healthy snack? I know y'all are really busy and on-the-go snacks are gonna be really important to make sure that we are keeping up all of our fueling, right? And getting nutrients and vitamins and minerals on the go. Um, so I'm gonna go through my favorite snacks that I take with me as well. And I even have some better choice processed foods. I, I know I'm always talking about the real food, the whole food, and I know it's just not always that convenient. So I'm gonna show you some better alternatives and mix them all together for you. Let's do it. Okay, so the very first snack I wanna make is, there's no pretty name for it. It's just yogurt, granola, and cacao names. <laughs> uh, yogurt and cacao, I don't know. So I love me some Greek yogurt, so we got that going on. Um, I picked out my favorite granola by Bob's Red Mill. I'm a huge fan of Bob. We love him. He's a really clean granola, and then we also have cacao nibs. I know these are the first ones you're gonna ask questions about. So cacao nibs are just the raw, unprocessed, um, form of chocolate. So they are a huge superfood. They are filled with so many vitamins and minerals. It's a really complex superfood um, filled with magnesium, manganese, uh, zinc too. Super awesome for you. I'm gonna grab a bowl and we're gonna, actually, I'm not gonna grab a bowl. I have a mason jar. Okay, I really just got these because I thought they'd be really cute and they're way much easier. They're way easier to transport all these guys together and just throw them in a fridge wherever I'm going. So let's mix them up. I usually take my granola with me to strong side all the time. Super cute. Very Joanna Gainesy right here. Macros for this guy. They are gonna be somewhere over here, somewhere over here. I will put macros somewhere in this video. Now, what did I put in here in terms of measurements? I did about five and a half ounces of yogurt, about 50 grams of granola, and then 10 grams of cacao nibs. If you don't have a food scale and you don't want one in your house for whatever reason, that's cool. Um, I would typically do about half a cup of granola then, and a tablespoon of the cacao nibs. Now I have this guy, I'm gonna keep him in the fridge, and we're gonna move on to our next snack. Okay, so my next snack is this yogurt dip that I make, um, that I'll dip my apples in. Okay, so it's really delicious. Yes, I'm using yogurt again, this is just another option. Um, so I'm gonna put about five and a half ounces of yogurt in here again. Um, this is where I'm gonna get all my protein and everything from. I'm going to add about a tablespoon of almond butter. This is just unsalted and unsweetened creamy almond butter from Sprouts, of course. I'm gonna add some cinnamon to it. Get some fall flavors up in there. Um, I'm going to mix it all up in this bowl. Um, and then I'm gonna spatula. Spatula out. All the yogurt, put it in my beautiful little mason jar cut up the apple and have those apple slices sit on top so that's easy for dipping and again, easy to take and grab on the go. Y'all, okay, how cute is it? I'm sorry, I think the mason jar does a whole other element to this. If you wanna be excited about your food, just put it in a mason jar. It's adorable. I have my little apples in here. I basically put the whole apple in there just already sliced up. So all I have to do is go in and grab it and dip it and move about my day, which is awesome. So again, macros, somewhere around this clip right now. Um, really, I have all three of my macros in here. Again, I have a carb, I have a protein, and I have a fat. That's what we're looking for, the balance of it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this right next to my little yogurt. Okay, y'all, jar number three. I'm doing a whole little raw veggie hummus and hard-boiled egg action here. Um, I'm gonna put about three tablespoons at the bottom of this jar of this everything bagel hummus. Y'all, this stuff is so good. I'm just happy it exists. It's amazing. If y'all haven't tried it yet, you have to go buy it. Kroger, Publix, 
sprouts, that's where I got mine from, um, go get it. I'm gonna put this at the bottom of the jar and then I'm gonna take my favorite raw veggies, which are these baby carrots, um, as well as some celery that I already had chopped up and I'm gonna put them right on top of that hummus and then I'm gonna have these hard boiled eggs here. I'm already gonna have them pre-shelled before I put them in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut them into halves and just set them right on top of my veggies. That way I have all of my guys packed away in this little jar ready to go. Stack number three is done and it's still cute. Look at it. We got protein, we have fat, we have carbs in here, um, and all of a bunch of vitamins and minerals and healthy stuff. Look at it. So eggs are awesome because they have so many healthy fats that are really good for us. Each egg is about eight grams of protein too, so that's killer. Um, we also have celery, which has a bunch of vitamin K in it, and also we have those carrots which are, is a part of the beta family, which I can talk about all day long, but it's really good for your skin and your eyes, and that sounds pretty good to me. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge, ready to go. All right, snack number four, I am making a little mini charcuterie board in a mason jar. Okay, so a lot of y'all ask me about processed food. Is it okay, is it not? Look, a lot of it's bad straight up but when we find the clean ones and the quality ones that's when they're the shining rainbow on your day so let me show you some okay this beef jerky here i don't even really like beef and this beef jerky is legit you want me to tell you why look how large the ingredients are on this package they're saying i want you to find something bad in here when it when the ingredients are large on the package that's when you know it's a quality ingredient or a quality product. You know I'm a huge fan of Tillamook as it is. Um, if you saw my last vlog video, you saw me go reading all the little cheese ingredients and everything and about artificial hormones. Tillamook's cows that they get their cheese and um, their beef from are have no artificial hormones used in their diet um, or on those cows, they're very happy cows. So that's why I love Tillamook, quality products. And then I have these Simple Mill organic little crackers here. Um, again, look at the way they display the ingredients, y'all. Like, that's what you, they're saying, look, read us. We want you to try and find something bad. That's literally what they're saying when the ingredients are that big. And then we got some grapes that I'm going to put in this jar. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of stack them all in just so I can kind of pick and grab with this snack as I'm going about my day. So let's do it. Thank you. We have the protein, we have the fat, and we have the carbs. We have some fresh fruit in there. Um, what more could you want? It's literally charcuterie board right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep this in the fridge and we're gonna kind of regroup and talk about all the little snacks that I made. Sticky. Okay, one, two, three, four. Four easy on the go snacks. Yes, it takes a little bit of meal prepping time, but really that only took me about five minutes each to really prep. So if you can just keep these in your fridge, so during the week you can just literally just grab and run out the door, that's the goal here. Every one of these has each of the three important macros. We have a protein, we have a carb, and we have a fat. You can, it's gonna vary really based on the different products that you use, the different um, brands that you like, and that's okay. All I ask is that you read the ingredient list, make sure it's clean stuff, because these are all clean snacks here. Um, we're really going for whole food as much as we can, but when we have busy lives, we're, I know convenience is important, so we can't always have you know a head of lettuce like chilling in our purse. Like, so stupid. Okay, so if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, you don't have to get mason jars. I just found them to be really cute. Yeah, a dozen for 10 bucks. And they're so cute. And I think when you're excited about the food you're going to eat, you actually will eat them. Psychology and stuff. That's what I have for y'all today. If you have any on the go snacks that you like to always go for, please leave them in the comments and let's share and collaborate. All right, y'all. I'll see you next time.